When bombs and shells are dropped in populated areas, such as villages, cities, and towns, the damages to people go far beyond the initial explosion. People have less access to what they need to survive, such as health facilities, clean water and sanitation, and even the capacity to import food. It set Yemen's development back by decades. And this is in a country that was already considered quite uh, underdeveloped before the war and with weak infrastructure. Very early on in the conflict, cranes at Hadaira port on the west coast of Yemen were hit by explosive weapons. And the damages to this facility indirectly led to food prices raising by 28% in the two months directly after the attack. This has a huge impact on a country that's always perpetually at risk of famine. Yemen has a decimated health system. Only 50% of health facilities are considered functioning. We know that damages to a health facility can cut off access to 200,000 people at once. And for some of these people, this was the only health facility within a radius of 100 kilometers. If you consider the risk of COVID now, a global pandemic, Yemen's health infrastructure is not equipped to handle the risk.